Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you say welcome? Welcome. Talk on the welcome. 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 Dustball FC. Back with another video. We're going to do a review of game week. 27. Yeah, and I'm here with my beautiful little daughter. And Manchester United's biggest little fan, right? All right. So, we're going to do it. I don't know. I don't know daddy do this, but I want to walk up on video with me. So, we're going to do it. Big up on yourself. Thanks for viewing. Don't forget, like the video if you haven't, if you haven't liked subscribe, it. Subscribe, click the notification bell. Yes, it. Shall learn. Press a regular. All right. We're there, right, Rainy? We're there. I said we're there. Manners. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go over game week 27. What a week it was. What a week it was. So without wasting any time, again, thanks to all of the items who support. Yo, one of our videos gone over 600 views, yo. And 600 subscribers. Right? Yeah, we don't have that many yet. But hopefully we will have that many soon. But one of the videos have about 600, almost 700 views, yo. Well, we have to have a million subscribers by the next six subscribers. Okay. All right. So, what a week. What a week. Boring Muff, the cherries, kicked off the week at home. At home, right? Against... The mighty Liverpool save! And remember, say save! Save! <laughs> save. We didn't even say that anymore. That wasn't a cup final Liverpool, I don't know. But Bournemouth with an astonishing, really well deserved win over Liverpool. Right? 1 0. Hot! What? Mo Salah missed a penalty, which, if we're arguing, we can say it was not a penalty. If we're being honest, right? But a well deserved victory for Bournemouth. Right? So we move. So, right now, in the 10 o'clock fixtures, Everton beat Brentford 1 0. Who could predict that? Who would have predict the 1 0 hot win? Versus Liverpool, the general. Didn't I? Didn't I say it? Didn't I say Liverpool? That wasn't a cup final. Didn't I say that was it? I said it. I did say it. You know? Anyways, on to the next. Brentford, Everton versus Brentford. Everton was in need of a win. Down there fighting in the relegation zone. And they beat, they beat Brentford 1 0. They beat Brentford 1 0. Right? Yeah, so one nil to Everton. I can I if you I guess you could argue it really could have been a draw game, but good win for Everton. Because we're not spend too much time. The game already gone. Very good game. Um, but very good result for Sean Dyche and his boys because, trust me, they were under a lot of pressure. They were under a lot of pressure. Leeds and Brighton drew 2-2. This was a very good game. And, and I honestly didn't watch this game. I was just watching the score and I saw the highlights and it looked like a very entertaining game. I did not predict Leeds getting anything out of this game. Zane, but Leeds did. Right? <laughs> Leicester City went down to Chelsea, 3-1. Probably the best performance I've seen from Chelsea since Graham Potter took over. Are they turning things around? Is Graham Potter here for the long haul? Is what, three or four wins on the bounce. They're through to the second, to the next round of the Champions League. Things are looking up for Chelsea. They are looking up for Chelsea. And I guess Chelsea fans, I have to be honest, they deserve it. They deserve this. Because it's been really bad for them 
for way too long this season. So them deserve a little breathing space. No, do I think they'll make top four? I don't think so. They're, we're, we're, right now, Chelsea is 11 points off top four. They seem to be too far behind. I don't know if they'll catch up with with only what ten games left, eleven games left. Not sure. I'm not sure that well, twelve games left for Chelsea. I'm not sure that they'll catch up. Then eleven games behind, and you know they'd have to they'd have to hope that Liverpool and our Tottenham drop a lot of points. So I don't think so. I don't think so. But Chelsea's making a. A comeback, if you want to put it that way. Tottenham beat Nottingham Forest 3 1. I can see. I, are we surprised? Are you surprised, really? That Tottenham beat Nottingham Forest. Are you surprised? You don't understand? <laughs> so this team, Tottenham, will beat the red team. Is Manchester United the red team? So we're not happy about that, right? But yeah. Convincing win, goals from Hurricane, Son, Richarlison won a penalty for them. You know, um, convincing win. I don't, re I don't understand how Nottingham Forest is that far up the table. And they're now in 14th place, literally only two points out of the relegation. And I can, I can see them going down. Huh? Yes, and we are Manchester United. Yeah. Yeah, you know. So Tottenham solidifies their top four spot, uh, spot with a win, a convincing win over Tottenham Forest. Now, this is the game that everyone is talking about with regard to whether or not something unscrupulous occurred. How did Manchester City win this game? Manchester City beat Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park 1-0. Let's be honest. How did Manchester City win this game? How did they win this game? That penalty, lucky. That miss, lucky. But you need luck sometimes, right? And if we want to keep the title charge and the title challenge open, we needed a result from Manchester City like that. So good win to them all. One nil victory. I wouldn't say it was deserved, but if you win, you deserve it, right? Um, we're still up there fighting with, 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 with Arsenal. Arsenal is on six, 20, 66 points, Manchester City has 61, so Arsenal is leading by 5 points. Same amount of games played, however, Arsenal still has to play against Manchester City. So let's see what the outcome of that game will be. Now we're going to go into Sunday's fixtures. We're going to go into Sunday's fixtures, right? Arsenal dominated Fulham. Dominated Fulham. Let's be honest. They deserve to win that game. And I must be honest, Arsenal look like champions. Arsenal look like champions. They look like champions. Everybody who knows me knows that I'm the biggest Arsenal hater. I can't hate on this Arsenal. Team. Like, the more they win, the more they perform like that. I'm running out of excuses. <laughs> I am running out of excuses. And as a last, a last ditch attempt to get Arsenal to flop, I'm going to start predicting Arsenal winning every game. That's the only other, that's the only thing I haven't tried so far. But honestly, they look really solid. They look like they want this league. They look, they don't look like the Arsenal that we've been seeing over the past 17 or so years. Who tend to flop? Who tend to flop at some point in the season, right? You want to say something? Yeah. You say something? <laughs> so Arsenal really look like champions. I'm not gonna lie. It will be hard for me to even imagine a summer with Arsenal fans. Oh my gosh! Just imagining it is giving me a headache. But a well-deserved victory for Arsenal. Now, there were two games playing at the same, being played at the same, three games being played at the same time. 
West, West Ham also took on Aston Villa. That game was a one all draw. Aston Villa is still down in the relegation zone. Well, they're not in the relegation zone, but they're on the same amount of points as Bournemouth. Uh, West Ham is in 14, uh, 17 spots on 24 points. And there is literally between 14 and 18, there's only a two point difference. So, depending on the week you have, you may be in 14 or you may be in 18. As a matter of fact, it could be in 19, depending on how the, how the other fixtures go. Right? So, West Ham won, Aston Villa won. And to the game that everyone's talking about and the incident that took over the entire weekend. Manchester United nil, Southampton. Manchester United heading, heading into this game as heavy favorite, Southampton, deep in the relegation zone, currently in 20th position. At, at the time, I think they were in 19th, 19th position when Man United played them. Came to Old Trafford, and you could see that they were fresher. In the first 15, 20 minutes of the game, they were energetic, they were pressing. Manchester United then started to gain control. And then the incident happened. Ask me my opinion. I don't think it was a red card. I don't think it was a red card. Had, had the referee given a red card, immediately I would have understood. I wouldn't have agreed. It may be honest with you. I wouldn't have agreed with the decision, but I would have, I would have understood. But for the referee to see the challenge, Give the man a yellow card. After which he's instructed to go to VAR and look at the monitor. He changes, mind you, the referee is indicating that he saw the challenge, which is why he gave the yellow card. VAR, you know, said something in his ear. He went, looked at the monitor and came back, canceled the yellow card, card and gave a red card. You're going to say bye? Say bye. Right? Why? Why would you do that? What did you see upon looking at the screen that warranted the escalation of the card to a red? I'm still baffled. I don't think it was a red, a red card challenge. I don't think so. Football has gotten so soft. But it is what it is. No, really, sit, mama. Sit down. I'm almost done. Sit. It is what it is. It happens in football. No, Casemiro said to miss four games. Just hold on. Okay, mama, just hold on. All right. And now, um, Casimir is set to miss four games for us. Four whole games. Zane, unfortunate, but I have full confidence in my team that will bounce back. I have full confidence in my team that will bounce back. So as I need I'll draw, I must give so much credit to the boys because they played over 60 minutes. They played over 60 minutes with 10 minutes. They played over 60 minutes with 10 men, and they defended very, very well. So hats off to the boys. One point gained. So Manchester United, so here's how the table looks. Well, let me finish the rest of the games, I guess. Let me finish. Newcastle beat Wolves 2-1. A well-deserved win for Newcastle. They needed that. They needed that. They had not won a game in a while. And, and you know, let's remember that they lost the cup final as well. So they needed that win. And if I'm being honest with you, I'm happy they won the game because it kept Liverpool out of the top four. <laughs> you know, it keeps them further away from the top four. So if I'm being honest with you, as a rival, I'm happy that they won the game. Um, but it was a very, very active, a very interesting weekend. Currently, I mean, I'll go through 1 to 20, but again, as we said, Arsenal is at the top of the league. 66 points, 27 games played. Manchester City six points behind that, five points behind that, and 61. Manchester United in third, 50 points. We played one less game, however. And Tottenham finishes out the top four on 48 points, and they've actually played one additional game, a game, one more game than Manchester United. So, yeah, Liverpool sits in sixth position on 42 points. Newcastle fifth on 44 points. 
Brighton in seventh. Now let's jump to the relegation zone. Southampton 20, in 20th position and 22 points. Leeds, 19th position, 23 points. Bournemouth, 18th position, 24 points. Now the way it looks, right? And well, West Ham right above that and, and in 17th position, um, 24 points. Leicester City also 24 points, 20, um, 16 position. Everton, 15th, uh, 15th spot, 25 points. And Nottingham Forest, 14th spot, 26 points. So at any, you can be in 20th position at any point at the beginning of a game week and end in 15th position at the end of the game week, depending on how the fixtures go. So, yeah, it, 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 it's, 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 it's interesting. It's exciting. I can't wait for the next game week. I'm excited. Big up, big up, big up again to the island for the support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Like the video, share the video. We're now Dust Bowl FC, officially Dust Bowl FC. Big up on yourself, manners and respect. We are out of here.